What's up everybody, welcome back again, this time to part 9, which is also the final step in the MPC 2000 beat making process. So this will be the last tutorial that I make for this series, but I'll maybe do a tips and tricks series for the more advanced users or something. Or maybe if you guys, if you have any questions or suggestions, I'll make videos that answer them. So before we get started, I just want to give a shout out to all the new subscribers. You guys are awesome. That lets me know I'm not just doing this for nothing, so thanks. So you finished tracking out your beat to software or whatever you're using, and you want to save it so that you have proof that you did in fact make this here dope beat, especially if someone decides to jack your beat and claim it as theirs. Or maybe you haven't finished it yet and you just want to get back to it later. Whatever the case, you're going to want to save it to some form of memory storage medium. In this case, we're using floppy disks and if you're using the if you're using a SCSI um, drive or a zip drive you're using these zip disks or hard disks so insert a disk and before you start saving we're gonna need to format the disk so that we're able to use the disks full capacity and so that there aren't any type of errors when loading up the disk later on. So go to the disk screen by holding down shift and disk at the same time. Now press F3 under the format tab. If you're using a floppy disk, go to the device field and select floppy. If you're using a hard disk or a zip disk, select whatever SCSI drive you're using in the, de in the device field. Now, the MPC cannot tell if you're using a 2HD or a 2DD floppy disk unless the disk is formatted. So in the type field, select which type of floppy disk you're using. You can also check what type it is if you don't know by looking at the little slider. Or some, sometimes it's printed in the, in the corner somewhere of your floppy disk. The HD stands for high density and the DD stands for double density. I don't really I don't really know the specifics behind them, but I believe the HD floppies hold a little more memory. So anyway, once you have selected the device and type, press do it. Pressing do it again will erase it completely, so make sure you have a blank disk or make sure it's a disk that you want to erase if it has stuff saved on it already. So now it's formatting. Now, when you're using a zip disk, the disk space is usually divided equally into four partitions. For example, if you're using a 400 megabyte zip disk, each partition space will have 100 megabytes and will be categorized alphabetically from A to D. So, hit the format key and go to the parts field. And since in this case I'm using a 100 megabyte zip disk, I'm just going to leave it the way it is right there. If you have if you have a higher a higher megabyte zip disk, then you can like partition it. So if you like I said, if you have like a 400 megabyte zip disk, you would maybe want to do A through D, and you will have like 100 megabytes per per partition. But we're just gonna leave it like that, and so hit and uh, you would hit do it but I'm not going to do it because I'm using my my MPC startup disk so just hit do it and it'll format your disk and just go back to the load screen alright so now we're gonna save so go back to the disk mode screen the disk mode screen if you haven't and hit F2 under save Now in the type field, you can see the different types of files you can choose to save. So you have like save all your sequences, you can choose to save one sequence, save all programs and sounds, or save one program and sounds. You can choose to save just the sound if you're like making, let's say like a drum kit or a sample kit or something. And um, that's it. And then so go down to a file here you can uh, pick a specific file or files to save so this is where all your sequences will be at 
from your uh, from your beat that you recorded to save the entire project sequences songs programs and sounds choose uh, save all sequences and songs in the type field so right there and now move the cur move uh, move down to the device field choose your disk that you're going to be using so if you're using floppy floppy and zip disk you pick which uh, which uh, SCSI drive it, it is and um, down here where it says free is how much how much space you have free on your floppy disk so also if you're using zip disk remember to select which partition space to save it onto and um, yeah so once you're ready to save press do it name your file whatever you want to call it press press enter and then hit save if you hit wipe it's gonna erase everything off the disk so press save and uh, go back and you just saved all your sequences and songs now you have to save your programs and your sounds so head over to save all programs and sounds and press do it once again and um, right here on the save field make sure that it says with sounds and down here make sure that it says that you have yes selected otherwise it's it's gonna um, leave copies of your uh, of the sounds that you have and by selecting yes it'll replace any of the same sounds that you might have that way you don't run out of room on your discs so then name your file and hit save also if when you're saving a project your disk runs out of space just simply insert another disk and press save so it'll show you right here a window will pop up that your disk is at uh, or you won't have enough space on your disk and it'll, it'll say just insert another disk so do that okay so you saved your project and weeks months maybe years go by and you want to go back and revisit the project again maybe you want to add or take something out of the beat just pop the disk back in the MPC hold shift and disk like I like we did and then go to your uh, load tab so hit load and now sele select the disk type that you're gonna be loading up your project from in the device field so if you have it on floppy whatever so then you would go up to the to the view field and choose which uh, which of the files you saved so the one the ones that you saved were the all programs and sounds so you would load that one up you would hit do it it would load up after it was loaded then you go over to to the all file and that's the all sequences and songs file and you hit do it on that and that'll that will load up your sequences and your and your uh, songs and that's it your whole project should be loaded alright guys this concludes the final tutorial the final step in the MPC 2000 beat making process I hope that most of you were able to find this series helpful and easy to understand of course the journey of a beat does not end here there are still other steps to consider in the production of a beat this series was just one aspect so anyway I'm Quellar Subscribe to my channel for beat making videos, free instrumentals, and for production tips and tricks. And I'm out. Peace.